Nigeria has one of the highest numbers of female entrepreneurs in the world, yet women-owned businesses do not secure procurement contracts, suggesting systemic or systematic gender disparities in the procurement system of both government and private sector organizations. This was the submission of the United Nations Women Country, Women Country Representative to Nigeria and ECOWAS, Beatrice Eyong, while speaking at the UN Women Convening of Top Business Women Leaders event held in Lagos. A young represented by Women's Economic Empowerment Specialist for UN Women, Chukwemeka Onyimadu, said, Onyimadu said the coalition's primary objective was to enhance the implementation of economic policies that facilitate improved access for women to public and private procurement opportunities as well as income generating activities. World statistics, world statistics show that if you look at the regions of the world, in the Americas, in somewhere around 50% that they trade with each other before they trade with the rest of us. In Europe, it's about 40%. In Asia, it's about 60 to 65%. In Africa, it is less than 4%. We are not trading with each other. I'm just trying to get a message out here that the entire purpose of this program is to empower us economically. But for us to be empowered economically, we must understand that we can't even do it alone. According to a young, disparity had prompted calls for policy reforms that would provide preferential treatment to marginalized groups, thereby leveling the playing field for women entrepreneurs and their male counterparts. Also, the founder of Masterpiece Resort Development Center for Women and Youth, Modupe Oyekunle, noted that better results would be achieved if women collaborated effectively. In his remarks, the Director General of the Lagos State Public Procurement Agency, Fatai Onafawote, noted that the government must simultaneously develop the nation's services and ensure that women are given equal consideration in decision making. We know the role women play in the home, so we appreciate the need to empower them. And when you empower a woman, you are empowering a, a, a country, you are empowering your community. So we understand it as such. And we are working with a government that ensures that nobody is left behind, that is inclusive, that even in the most recent time talks about social inclusion, it's talking about women empowerment, it's talking about youth development. So this, the agenda of Lagos government is very positive when it comes to carrying everybody along, when it comes to including everyone in what the government is doing. We recognize that people, you know, are, um, and across board, people are doing different things and there are many, many great initiatives, but how far do they go? You know, so um, by having a policy and having a framework, there is an action plan, um, you know, that um, can be focused on, priorities can be set, and people, you know, those who are in charge of those action plans, especially governments, can be held accountable. Um, so here today, we're specifically drilling down on affirmative procurement and the opportunities for women in affirmative procurement. Um, as you know, women don't necessarily benefit from the opportunities of being contractors to government and also in the private sector. So we've been trying to tackle that um, with through UN Women, UN Men, and working with um, other um, private sector and the governments have been trying to tackle that. How can we get more women into procurement? So Lagos has been at the forefront of transformative initiatives aimed at driving inclusive growth and achieving the sustainable development goals. We recognize the empowering women, we recognize that empowering women economically translates into a robust social inclusion, reduction in poverty and hunger, promotion of gender equality and the enhancement of decent work and economic growth.